With this change, the heroes are now taking on a new role in the game. Other than the roles they have, they're taking on a new role in the game to be more important in terms of strategy to when you actually purchase them and how you upgrade them. So I'm going to go and show you guys. This is brand new information. Like I just got this like minutes ago and um, I'll show you guys as much as I can and we'll kind of see what we can do. So the white tower is how you actually get need something built. the hero system upgrade. So let's get the hero system upgrade in the Time back. Stop, now we have the white tower upgrade. So everybody, this is how you get the hero system for um, Bowser Third Age. So if you come in here, you have upgrades, hero upgrades, and you have heroes. So under hero, of course, we have Denethor. We need him. Get us some money. We have upgrades, the normal ivory tower and Gondor Soldiers, library, and we have a hero upgrade. So this is a new system specifically for Gondor for their heroes. So we have Helm of the Citadel, cost 500 ready. resources, upgrades Baragond with 20% armor, additional 50% piercing damage resistance, and 20 additional 25% knockback resistance. We have Knight's Armor for Faramir, 750 resources, 30% armor, 50% slash, and cavalry damage resistance, and then 30% knock resistance. We have High Warden's armor for Boromir. Well, he gets 40% armor, 20% spirit damage, of course, increases. And then plus 50% health for him. And then Shield of Dol Amroth for Imrahil. Additional 20% piercing damage resistance and total, total knock resistance completely, which is awesome. Super cool. And then we have the High King's armor, which is, I believe, yes, Aragorn, where upgrades Aragorn's armor and gives it additional 50% armor, 20% ability damage resistance, which I'm not sure. You let's check something. So for a Agbor, for Baragond, do we have one for Agbor in here? I believe he gets his upgrades just from here. So he just gets, for example, he gets speed, he gets attack range, he gets damage, which we'll go and get damage. So let's, we have Faramir. Let's get Faramir's upgrade, which is additional 30% armor, slash and cover damage resistance and knock resistance, and that's Knight's armor. So we'll get that. So now the hero upgrade has been completed for Faramir. And now you guys can see he has his knight armor. So as you do the upgrades, your heroes do get a visual upgrade as well. And this is just an example, guys. So we'll be doing more as we have time. But this is so cool. I remember he gets that additional armor and knock and additional knockback resistance. Like, just look at that, guys. This is awesome. And of course, my, my house color shows in there too. Very, very cool. So guys, we're gonna be jumping over to another faction. That's just a quick, brief showcase of Gondor. So let's go and switch over to the elves. So now, there is an additional sub faction for the elves being worked on. The wood elves are a part of Lothlorien. So they're all now included as the wood elves. And then the one that's being worked on, which I can't show you yet. I can't press that button yet. My elves are in progress. So now if we hit the uh, wood elves to actually start you guys here's upgrades, you will need the sanctuary. So we'll get this started back here. Let's go and turn the door towards us. It is time to build. This looks all fancy and stuff. All right. So here we go. So we have, of oh, course, we can upgrade it to level two. We have upgrades, which are a part of the sanctuary originally regarding armor and such, which we already know about. We have the light bearers, which are awesome support units and heal um, your allies. Now here are upgrades. Here we go. So here they all are. Again, Morgu, wonderful job on these pictures. They look pretty cool. So we have the silver Lorian male for upgrades Lorian for orphans. So orphan does battle. get one. So 20% armor, 25% slash damage resistance and 30% knock resistance, which is awesome. Oh, and I'm going to bring in Morgu here while he's talking to us. We also have um, Rumil, so they both do get upgrades. Rumil gets the Golden Galadrim Helmet. Upgrades Rumil 30% armor, 25% pierce damage resistance, and 50% knock resistance, which is pretty cool. Yes, and Morgu also mentioned, which I did forget, that heroes cost less command points or CPs, so you can focus them on them more now. Thank you, Morgu. Which is really cool. And then we have Hald Haldir, which we'll get this right now. So you guys can see his golden Gladrum armor, which upgrades Hald Haldir with 50% armor, 15% magic dis damage resistance, and 50% knock resistance. So we'll grab that while he's sitting over there. We have Celeborn, which gets the silver Galadon armor, which is a thousand expensive, but 
I guarantee worth it because it gives them 60% am armor, 25% ma dam magic damage resistance, 50% knock resistance. Pretty dang awesome. We also have Royal Larinand armor, which upgrades Amroth with 40% armor, 25% stab damage resistance, and 75% knock resistance, which is pretty dang cool. Also, the Helm of the Citadel, which you, you get five, of course, costs 500. The enemy this is near. upgrades Baragon, which gets 25% armor, 50% pierce damage resistance, ready. and 25% knock resistance. So now it just completed. So now trees. you guys can see how Aldair has his armor. Really cool, right? Orgu said the Baragon upgrade in the Sanctuary is a bug. I. FYI, everybody, that is a bug. I did notice that on Gondor, too. So, of course, we have all the normal heroes. We have the normal fortress upgrades in here very cool and also kingdom of Mirkwood. Barracks. we come um, to protect middle earth and of course elves freaking awesome so let's go and change over to the dwarves and showcase their hero upgrades again this is very exciting very cool all that morgus put together for us and he is he, he loves the mod so much i love how he explained to me earlier that he doesn't see it as ready men this um, way archers a weight it's an enjoyment for him it's something he just enjoys doing area. This is another reason I think all of his work uh, is so work. cool. We have the best so materials. awesome. So, we're going to run over to Heroes. Ooh, cool icon. I love that. So, we have all of our heroes here. We're going to jump over to Banner Upgrades. There they are. And let's Just get, like we always do, a Dill Market. So, important structure we're going to put in the back. We'll wait on recruiting a hero. I really want to recruit Balin. He's like my go-to hero. So, we'll see who we should, who we should start with. All right, here we go. Let's explore the Raven Tower and see what it has to offer. I'm going to bring in Margu so he can type in chat as I'm reading through these. Raven Tower is the hero upgrades and Ravens of Erebor. So under hero upgrades, we have first off Balin. Yes, with Erebor stage armor. Okay, so we'll buy him Balin. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Actually, I'm going to skip ahead. Is there one for Thorin? We're going to wait, guys. I really want to see Thorin's. We're going to save for Thorin this time. Again, we're going to be playing each faction in full, so Where let's do I go with keep these, these going while we're the chilling the so we can sight? get Thorin in his upgrade. Have an hour ready. And we're going to make sure we have plenty of men over here because I don't want to worry about this. All right, so Balin, 750 resources. You can get 30% armor for him, 50% pierce and slash damage resistance. 50% knock resistance. Super cool. We also have Dwalin, the Erebor Heavy Pauldrons. Ooh, that looks cool. 30% armor, 15% pierce and chop damage resistance, and 50% knock resistance. Okay, okay. Okay, and there's no visual Dwarven heroes for now. No no visual upgrades yet, but those will be done. Morgu just put in chat if you, you guys can see right above. Um, so then after that, we have Thorn. He, with his airbar prince armor which of course no visuals but soon um he gets 40 percent armor 15 percent slash and stab damage resistance and 50 percent knock resistance pretty dang cool we also have airbor raven armor uh, that costs you 1200 resources you get 50 percent additional armor 25 percent blunt and chop damage resistance and 75 percent knock resistance super cool and we have the royal golden armor for thror 60% armor increase, 25% pierce and chop damage resistance, 50% ability damage resistance, total knock resistance. These really will play a part in the strategy of how you use your heroes because they'll become so much more important, which will be really, really fun. And uh, Morgu, thank Here you again, man, are. for all your hard work. Really appreciate it, man. So, so cool. Um, trying to think. I, the I think that's all I want to show for now on the door side. Still very exciting. All right, let's there will see. Be no slacking here. Money. He said they're in the outpost. We'll have to get the outpost. Get another builder here. We did buy that already. So, outpost 1K. So, used for base expansion, command point where can recruit heroes and builders, decrease cost of builders. Nice. Okay. And this gives your hero hey, upgrades. Builder, so, let's get work. the hero upgrades out. Here we go. So, hero upgrades for Mordor. So, of course, you can make a builder here. It has the heroes upgrades and the, and the upgrades themselves. Oh, you can make heroes here. I forgot about that. So, under the hero upgrades, we have a lot of hero upgrades. Morgul crown. Okay, so the... Okay. <laughs> I feel like Morgul literally did this just because he loves Mordor so much. Ready for okay. So, first of all, Mordor chestplate upgrades Grishnak. 
with 30% armor, 20% pe pierce and slash damage resist resistance and 25% knock. And then resistance. And we also have Gorbag. We have 40% armor added with a, this is called a scavenged armor, 20% Pierce and slash damage resistance, 35% knock resistance. And then we have Sirith Ungul War Armor, which gives you 50% armor, 30% pierce, plus 30% pierce resistance, I believe. And then slash and stab damage resistance and 70% knock resistance. Very, very cool. We have Morgul Commander Armor for Gothmog. And for Gothmog, with this armor, you get 40% armor, 25% pierce, Slash and stab damage resistance and 50% knock resistance. And then moving on, we have the Mouth of Sauron. Well, he gets the Staff of Baradur. Oh, great. And <laughs> he gets 100% magic damage. Magic damage. Woo. 25% range added to a double radius of damage effects. Holy crap. And then, of course, the Morgul Crown for the Witch King. He, he gets 30% armor, 35% magic and ability damage resistance. Oh, and here comes uh, Morgu with some comments here. Morgu said, ability damage is the damage caused by hero and unit's special abilities. Awesome. Okay, good to know. Thank you, Morgu. All right. Take your tools ready. Quark whip. Oh, my. Take my gun on! Workers! Oh, is he, is he working? Oh, no, he's not working. There will be no slacking here. Ooh. Are there two different wildman lodges? Make yourself used to what you I'm, I'm confused. You. Isengard upgrades are not post. Thank you. Visuals only for Lurts in Ugluk for now. Okay, so we'll get Lurts then. How about that? I think Lurts is a pretty known hero. Build. Here it is. Okay. Build. Oh. Morgan didn't mention something that I wasn't aware of, so. Is it the murder crows? So the crows do give a 10% hero cost reduction. Yeah, it does. It does say it. Okay, I missed uh, missed the text because I went straight to the second line. So yes, it does work. Like it always should. So, wait, no. Are you joshing me right now? Where do you say? Oh, he's right there. Ooh. The wild men have just We're gonna fight. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Get him, get him. All right, everybody. So in the outpost for Isengard, when you play the new update, um, when it is released, of course, not released yet. Just to clarify, we have heroes you can recruit, of course, in here. And yes, okay, so we have hero upgrades. Here we go. So we have Circus. A wild man has joined us. A cursed amulet for Grima, of course, the butt one. face, the assassin. 30% armor, 50% magic and ability damage resistance, and then Warg Rider markings for Sharku. The 1500 health. Oh, wow. 20% magic and ability damage resistance. Oh, my goodness. Sharku gets uh, something called the Razor Pole, pole Axe, 30% damage, gains wound eff effect, damaged heroes, and units cannot heal for one minute. And then you have a Dunlin Crow Helmet for 500 resources, which is 30% armor, 30% pierce damage resistance as well, which is pretty cool for Wolf. Also for Lurts and Ugluk, oh, they come together, White Hand Shields. 30% armor, 20% pierce, and slash damage resist, and 65% knock resistance. Very cool. And then we have Saruman, which gets the key of Arthank. They're attacking the lumber mills. <laughs> and what They're that does, it gives 1,000 health, 30% magic and ability damage resistance, and minus 10% recharge time. That's kind of make him a rough, rough enemy to fight. Won't even lie. So let's, let's grab alerts here. So it's interesting, Lurts and Ugluk, if you buy them together, they'll get the upgrade together, which is honestly definitely kind of cool. So he'll get a shield. Look, look at look at, this, look at this crazy, crazy looking guy. Let's... You'll do what I say. It's a bow or a sword. Pretty insane, pretty insane. Wild men from Dunland, wait for this upgrade to complete. The there it is. So now you should have it. Oh, and God, it's actually on his back best. right now because he's in a bow setup toggle it he should have his shield and sword so now he's he's ready to go to battle and of course don't forget that it gives him some pretty good buffs none shall stand in our Just gonna way see if there's anything showcasing that he has it on here i don't see anything yet but he's, he does have it obviously very very cool and epic so there's your quick brief showcase everybody of everything involving the new updates coming to Bowser Third Age, 